Ladies and gentlemen, massive legend here. Welcome back to Epic 24, Epic Land, CSGO. We have CEX versus Radix and friends. I am joined, of course, by another massive legend, Viper, who will be joining me on the casting desk today. Um, very exciting game. What, what do you think is going to be the outcome of these two teams? Um, no, you, you can never discount CEX. They, you know, they beat... Uh, London Lynx earlier in the tournament, uh, actually the previous game, 2-1, uh, and they look really, uh, really good on overpass, but you have to say Radix and friends are uh, the favourites. They beat uh, Islamic Steak uh, in the previous round, 2-0 as already. A little bit of a B setup from, uh, from the Radix and friends side, but Taru's going to be the first man to see any engagement. Gets Liam, can't get anything else, but now Ooh. in come the massive frags. Nuke Dog, last one left, gets one, but can't get anything else. And it's a team ace for Radix and Friends. Everyone gets a kill. And yeah, that'll be the pistol round taken down by Radix and Friends. Opting for the MP9 and the UMP buys. With lots of utility to support the rifle on Surreal, of course one of the star players of this team so it makes sense putting him on the rope quite early to do that damage we are seeing the desert eagles terrifying in the hands of these players um very accurate with these weapons we've some, seen some lovely uh pistol rounds uh by some of the teams like cex as well as uh uh i can't there's a team yesterday uh, with one on it and they were just one digging all the time that was that's was london esports that was it yeah so we'll see if they can have the same uh, fortune that London Esports had, CX hoping, wall banging through. Let's see if Crazy can find anything. Takes two shots, but he still gets the headshot. He'll be happy with that. Yeah, doesn't take a lot of damage either, so he can just fall back. Make Radix just feel a little bit uneasy as Tarus, I think he gets the information. Falling off it. Now Fraser up on top of the wall. This is really good because now Taurus actually looked across and realized there was no one there. But he's still watching. Fraser not looking at the right angle. And back into a 4 versus 4 that definitely favors Radix. Yeah, that is definitely correct. Standard setup. Two on either side for the CTs. But it looks like they will go towards A. But Surreal is on that. Gets to... Luzza then trades, trying to, uh, sorry, doesn't trade, carries on the barrage of fire, firing the USP, but surreal. Does get picked off, but it's fine, Luzza's they there to... The no, they can't salvage the M4. I uh, can't find it, it in no. time. It's, it's buried in the flower bed. You know, surreal's gardening today. You know, <laughs> he's like, I've, he's like, oh, CS, you know, stressing me out. I need to do some planting. He'd rather some be nice M4s in the, the ground, later. you know. Trying to grow that economy, one might say. Anyway, getting into round three. Again, uh, sort of like a soft CZ Desert Eagle buy. Uh, not really committing too hard to the second and third rounds for CEX. Did like get some nice opening kills. I like what CEX are doing. They come up connector. And the way that uh, Radix is playing means that they're pushed up. But it's not going to matter. Surreal with three. Rezu takes him down. And not really much he could do at that point. Gets taken down by Mr. Bold Darren himself. And what looked slightly promising at the start doesn't really turn out that way. Yeah, you're about to say they were doing something really well and it was the cast of curse. It immediately just backfired. But are now seeing a full gun round. Um, Bold Darren and Tarus not opting to change out of the... Uh, SMGs they have, they should be expecting a gun round, and that's Liam finding that's the AWPA of Radix and friends. Taking him down, we'll save that for. And now he's, no, he's pushing it back. No, it friend. does look like yeah. a it's teammate's picking up, Fraser. Liam finds a second, getting down Surreal, and that is a perfect opening. Oh! <laughs> what a shot by Rezu! Taking him down to Roos through the smoke. Yeah, they were trying to get some map control with Radix and get some information, but Rezu just there at the right time not i mean there's not much to do in that situation if Taris, liam, liam catches off surreal 
how, if anything, how does Surreal not win that? Yeah, Liam on three kills this round. Very low health. He is taking a lot of damage, but Rezzy should have this. All Darren falls, and that's uh, five for nothing uh, in favor of CX. That's exactly what they wanted to happen. That is perfect for them, and they got the bomb down at the end. So, a little round. extra cash. Clean round. They don't have to reinvest much. Just some utility on everyone. And um, this is where they're going to need to start building the bank. If they can get this second round, then that forces uh, that forces Radix and friends onto an eco, which should be good. But already they've got connect control. Liam playing solo in there, and Bold Darren gets taken down by Rezu. The boost not working out for Radix and friends, but Rezu does get taken down to 19 HP. And now, weaponry definitely favouring the T side. They've got so much utility left as well. Just while on Radix and friends, only Surreal has got a smoke. No one else has much of anything. It looks as though he's going to throw it, but he's opting not to. This is big. If, if CX can actually do an execute, this could... Throw a wrench. Looks like they're rolling over towards A, pushing up. Utility will go down. Flashing through, double flash. Players will now push out now. Cryptics is on the rotation, but he's got to get there fast. The T's are pouring in, flooding through the gate. Surreal pops out, lands one, gets traded by Liam. Liam going in, does not find Cryptics. Cryptics taking him down. Luzza so close with that orc. Flashbacks from Guardian just managed to find Casa, and this is looking a bit more doable for CTs. Surreal with brilliant positioning, same with Luzza, but Luzza's need to peace. Got to be faster than Fraser. Let's find it. Fraser in position. Molotov goes down. They should. I don't know. Have time. Yeah, they will have time to defuse that. So that got very hairy for a second for this uh, Radix and friends, but. I said they had that. No, they, no, they, they, they got it. They, they, they got it. You panicked yeah. me because you, you went silent and it just yeah. really I, I, it made I, me I, doubt myself. Yeah, it was slightly close. But uh, they do manage to pick up the round, but not without some casualties. Luzzle was very lucky there not to go down uh, in that Molotov. Just get some utility. Everyone's got a bit of utility. Cryptix only has a Molotov. Could be fortunate for them, but already it looks as though it's going to be a B play. But three CTs onto the B site, sitting quite further back in sight. To Roost just saw the information before the flash went off. Into the Molotov, but can't find any more. Taking huge amounts of damage. Cryptix is there to follow up. Gets the double. That's a bomb down, and Rezu is left in an impossible situation. He needs something incredibly special. He wants to do this. The CTs are there. Find Paul Darren. He's Cryptic's head. Can't find it. And Surreal confidently swings round behind the pillar and will take Rezu down. Cryptic did a really good job there getting those that double kill and then and the one versus three spamming through uh, the woods towards short took Cryptic's attention. Uh, not Cryptics, uh, took Rezu's attention off of the pillar on site, which meant that Surreal could swing out and get that kill. We'll see an eco coming in from CX to P250's CZ on Rezu. As Luzza gets the first kill, they come out of connector. Luzza gets a second with Surreal. Luzza, can he get a third? Yes, and Surreal takes it down. Not much you can really analyze about yeah, that. Yeah, calm and controlled. It wasn't uh, a proper buy by the terror side, so there wasn't too much issues going on. But we will see another gun round. Let's see if they can repeat the uh, success they had in their first gun round. Um, their first full buy and see if they can break the CT side. Uh, they managed to break them four, but hadn't been able to consistently build up the rounds. Yeah. Fraser and Castle really need to get off the mark and get running because... The rest of the team really needs them to start fragging. That was, that was a really important jump. He sees the two players coming out of connector. Flash comes in. Tarus is still blind. But the anti-flashes are perfect. Tarus gets one, Liam. Gets the trade. 
Fraser also gets another entry as we should see Bardarin Kassa getting the kill. Lusses down to 15 HP. Did Kassa spot him? I don't think he did. But now, post plant positions and already Radix have gone. We're not actually going to take this. Surreal's on 100 HP. He's got enough utility, but Luzza most certainly does not. And just as I said, Fraser and Kassa need to step up. They do exactly that in that round. Finding these... Uh, Entering well, yeah. very well with their team in tandem. Clear strategy going in, and when they set up the crossfires, it means they can get these players down. But Surreal is trying to pick up those exit frags, gets two, which is really good for them. Yeah, trying to keep down that terrace economy because, uh, especially going into this next round, as we if you look at the wins, it's three wins for CTs, one, one loss, three wins, one loss. And it means the terrorists won't be able to, because they have to keep on buying, won't be able to set up a consistent uh, economy going into these further rounds. Yeah. Thankfully for CEX, they could drop, uh, Nuke Dog dropped one, uh, which meant that he could still get enough utility. They've got a good amount, not all of it that you'd want, but that's a wonderful Molotov. He can get the information on Fraser. Fraser almost got him. That so. was incredibly close. But now just catching the map control. Oh, that nade. Grenade. 45 HP damage done. Fraser down to 10 HP. Got Darren trying to spot him out. Maybe try spam to get him. But now connector control has been taken. Now they should be pushing up. Comes back as Nuke Dog gets Luzza. That's the AWP down. And that's going to signal an absolute frenzy. But the rotations aren't coming in fast enough. Uh, Surreal has got to do this all on his own. They spot the shadow. Gets one. Nuke Dog gets taken down by Bold Darren. He gets a second onto Rezu. And now it's Cass and Fraser. Two versus three. As I say that, Fraser. One versus three, 10 HP. I mean, the the theory behind what they're doing was correct. Um, getting the information where their CTs were, they knew that there was a multiple stack at least on the B site, but <coughs> Overpass, sorry, <coughs> being such a large map, it works entirely around map control. You need to be pushing into toilets fairly early. Get that information, get that ground so the CTs can't counter push. As soon as you get that position, it means the Bs have to either all rotate to A or like they need to, uh, they can't over rotate. If they over rotate, they risk you just running straight onto the site. And as soon as you got that entry like they did, it means you can just snap and go. But the problem was because they hadn't pushed up, they were so far back when they eventually got the kill that it gave just enough time to allow the CTs to rotate and get into position. If they'd set that up earlier, as in, we're going to look at B, but probably go for A if it's the situation, they could rotate quicker and then get onto the site and actually get the bomb down and actually set crossfires so they don't get caught out by a player like Surreal. It was also actually positioning. It was amazing from Baldaren because Surreal was playing around the smoke uh, uh, right in front of Optimus. So they got that kill and didn't expect anyone else to be towards that truck whilst Bold Darren rotates in gets a double kill effectively shuts down the push almost single handedly but now CEX Fraser did manage to save uh, an AK I really like the CT position around long two That's players big. one to catch the rotation if they do push through toilets into that position and one coming around the flank surreal of all players C peeking around finds one that's Liam going down, and that's the entry for the CTs. That's going to prove disastrous. The T's are now locked in. If Surreal chooses to push through uh, A-Long into toilets, he could cut them off and eventually, uh, effectively trap the T's, but it's not going to matter too much. Laza falls with Nuke Dog finding the entry. Rezzy pushing around, tries to follow up. Ball Darren and 4 HP does fall eventually by Nuke Dog. But Cryptix gets double, gets the triple, and that will be the round over. Um... I, I was Again, getting worried. Bomb not going down. Like no. the the terrorists need to get onto the site quicker. They were worried about Surreal because they they knew that he was behind. They just didn't know where, and the rotations were pretty quick. They could have gotten the bomb down, planted it for bank, uh, and played the after plan. But because they didn't know where Surreal was, 
They were just a little bit unsure. It's actually surreal gets taken down by Nuke Dog, but Luzza takes it straight back and gets a second in midair. Gonna be posting back up. Gets a third. Can he get a fourth? Yes, he can. Going for Will the he ace. The can fifth? he get the ace? Oh no, he whiffs the shot. He's going for the PT50, and then he eventually gets it. Very nicely done by Luzza. You know, you could see he was like, oh, this is easy, and it gets to the fifth one. It's always those easy shots offers tend to miss his, uh, his best Draken impression. We will be greeted by Paws. Um, hopefully no one, hopefully uh, Luzza didn't punch his monitor in anger of whiffing that fifth shot on the I orc. I mean, he got the ace. I, I wouldn't be mad at that point. <laughs> If you get the ace, yeah, but it would have been a really good highlight clip, though. I think that's uh, I mean, that'd it's be the still, frustration. It's still a good highlight clip. Getting for especially uh, the one on, I believe it was Nuke Dog, uh, who jumped out of connector. Getting that kill was the, just shows you the reaction and the just how skilled he is with that AWP. It's why he's 15 and five already. Surreal, not too far behind on 14. And then no one else. Keep in mind, five lows kills were just in that round. <laughs> yeah, very, very true. Like, uh, in, the in the eco rounds. frags to uh, pad the stats. I so mean, so. Um, was that an eco? I that was, it was, uh, they had some pistols. Yeah, I don't think the, they bought yeah. any armor, both of them. Yeah. Um, it's again, it's <laughs> they're following the same pattern. So it's, uh, <laughs> terrorists should probably win this round. <coughs> oh, oh, if they do. If, if they're going into the pattern there, then this is the problem. is They're winning around, which is great, but they can't consistently no. win to break the economy. But we will be getting back into this game. Hopefully, C CEX will be able to deal with Radix and friends. This is uh, CEX's map choice as well. Uh, yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, they did beat London Lynx on it earlier today. They won. I want to say 16-12. And they beat Devious yet, um, yesterday as well. Also. Yeah. <coughs> but I don't know what it is. Maybe they're just not feeling it today. There's Rezu dies. I don't think he saw the bomb down. Yep. That's enough fun in the entry. He has to push through the smoke. Surreal trades back. Bruce checking through. The second kill of the round. But will fall down. He's on his own. But Critsix cleans him up. Mopping his body off the floor as he picks up his AK. And that looks like a very dire situation. The trend has been broken Ooh. for CEX. And to be honest, this semi <laughs> the trend was bad as it was, but this is even worse because <clears throat> sorry. They might end up being at a point where at the end of this half, if they don't win the pistol, they'll probably lose the game. Yeah, if if it goes 13-2, they're definitely but if they don't win that pistol, uh, then it's definitely not over. But Kassa, the only man with armor, but Liam, if he just shoots to there. Should I shot and does get that kill. That's going to be big. Headshot. Cryptics replies as Fraser pushes onto the site. Peering around, trying to find Liam. He just saw his legs. I don't know if he'll it's see Kassa, though. Yeah. Find Kassa. I don't think he saw the bomb. He's spraying through the smoke. Liam's going to go background to pick that up. Has also got an M4, A4 now. Look at Rezu, though. He could be a massive player right now. He's already snuck into there, but it's he's Luzza. got to move fast. Time Luzza's is running out for the side, it. and this map is huge. But Luz is checking the angle, and he will walk straight into an AWP round. And it's up to Liam if he wants to commit to this or if he wants to save. I mean, he's got the money. They've got the round loss bonus, so there's no reason why he shouldn't. But Luzza staring him down gets the kill, and it it's is, just not working. It, it's one of those situations when you're dry peeking like that. He knows that Luzza's around there, and he can jiggle peek. But if he jiggle peeks, then it immediately gives the information that that's where he is. So by just rushing out, it kind of gives him the element of surprise. But when you're playing against an author as good as Luzza, you, it's not going to work. He will land that shot. You can't just bank on him going to miss that. He's been so consistent in his orping. The only shot we saw him with was after he killed four people in a row anyway with it. I mean, the guy's an absolute monster today. So...
they need to either save that utility late in the round or get early kills like they're doing now. Cass and Liam getting to the ball. Darren gets traded back. Ooh. Freezer beating Luzza that time, beating him to the position. And now it's surreal left in a 1v3. Getting straight from Utah, finds the Utah through the smoke. Trying to go for the second. Surreal's warming up. The veins are popping. The guy's becoming a monster. He's 1v2, 12. HP oh. left foot. Gets denied by Liam. Get dunked on with the frag grenade. And we're going to the last round of the half. They've got what three should rounds. Should be a full buy for both teams. Yeah, so we'll actually see a, uh, a full gun round with orbs on both sides. So this should be uh, yeah, a kind of interesting AK. Yep. yep Four he, AKs. Does, he does get it. He had the CZ. I was a bit worried that they didn't have enough money there. But he does get it. Full utility as well. I think that's that's the key point. It's who whose utility usage is faster. Whoever's faster means the longer the round goes on, they're going to be at more risk because if the T's play late and they hold onto their utility as long as possible, it gives them such an advantage to just burst onto a site with smokes and monitors, which the uh, the CT side don't have to counter. Now, that's a brilliant point, but in this round. They've they said, oh, we've had success going B. The problem is, look at the stack. They've got three players there. They did have four. I was actually surreal was there on the site. And now he's going to be rotating back. But still, look at how much utility they've still got. So it's just not going to work. That's a, unfortunately a bad nade. As Sarus gets one. Cassett gets one down, but Surreal's there with Cryptics. Nuke Dog. Shutting it down with Tarus. It's uh, That's 12 3. And this, you hate puts, to see it. this puts CX in a terribly hard position. Um, usually, as a rule of thumb, if you lose the pistol round, you can put most likely expect that you're going to lose the next two rounds. You'll lose three rounds in a row. And That's gonna if that happens, on. if Radix and friends do win that pistol round and it goes the usual way it does, they'll be on match point. Yeah, they'll be on match point. So this is such a critical point for CX. You never want to lose on your map pick, especially as the next map will be train, where yesterday we saw Luzza go absolutely ham on it. 30 kills in 20 rounds. His signature AWP as you've got Radix just getting the connect control and running up. Now, the only problem is there are three players there for CEX, but Luzza is going to be playing the fake. Or, actually, as I said that, they are rotating back down through connect. The noise has been made. Kassa gets one, two. Can he get the third? Yes, he can. Nuke Dog combines. And Luzza lasts alive. Nuke Dog takes him down. And, and they get the pistol. That's the first step in CEX's win condition for this game. Um, very nice to see Cassid just with brilliant positioning and very nice aim there. There's not much you can do unless you use uh, utility you had to cover that angle. Um, I was going to say something when you've got a monster player on your team like uh, Surreal Luzza had a P2 hit because he also did port utility. Um, but one of the other players could have done is done the simple tactic which Navi does where Zeus buys a P250. Huge amount of damage done on Surreal just there with frag grenade. That um, was a wonderful name. Yeah, Zeus will buy a pistol uh, P250 and then drop it to Simple. So Simple can have armor. It's the uh, Raid Boss strat. Of giving him a better pistol and hit let him buy armor. Effectively weakening one of your members to buff the other. Um, uh, it wouldn't have worked out in that situation, but uh, that kind of idea favor them well if the smoking position was a bit different going into that side. But we're into the second round. Desert Eagles in the hands of three of the players of Radix and Friends, including Surreal. Dangerous player with Tarus. Looks like Bomb's gearing towards A, but there's a three-man stack. Cryptics. Ghost fishing. But nothing bites. Oh, Darren. Again, gets a little bit of damage on. CT is still not rotating, holding very long, but that's Liam first. Four full, and it's just surreal on his own. And just takes it down by Liam. 4k for him in the round. And, I mean, it, it was looking pretty good, but they just got really stagnant. Just they, they had pushed up 
but with the lack of utility that they had, there wasn't really any chance for an opening. It was like it was half of it was uh, sort of hesitant with the the deagles that are more long range weapons, and actually CX just outplaying them. As now Fraser looking for those eco frags. Gets one, two. Can he get the third? Yes, he can. Liam chimes in. And now it's just surreal. One versus five. Glock. Can't really do much. And can't do much. Just Fraser gets a 4k for that round. Very nicely done by CEX side. Uh, this is the first map in the series. Overpass, which was CEX's choice. The first half went 12-3. Which... Uh, wasn't ideal, especially as it was their map choice. Um, but they are, after getting pissed around, showing a bit more improvement. Not upgrading their weaponry, which might prove fatal going into the AK-47s of the T side. Yeah, but the, the economy isn't great, which is why they have decided uh, against upgrading. And by doing that, it actually means that, you know, Fraser Prezu and uh, Castle will be able to buy next round anyway. As Rezu could be getting caught off, but he isn't as Casa goes down, but the trades come in. Now, Liam just patrolling that A site. And actually, uh, Rezu was actually trying to salvage uh, a weapon from one of the T's. We've got a B sided setup. Still quite a bit of utility. They've still got two Molotovs on Nuke Dog and Liam. Lusa runs out the door, gets a wonderful headshot, and now that's definitely advantage Radix as they get onto the site. And terrorists are pushing in. Nose one is heaven. Tarus sending shots away with Surreal getting taken down by Fraser. Tarus trading back. Lusa pushing around. Lots of smokes were saved so late by the terrorists, trying to find that last counter terrorist. Sorry. Cryptic's planting the bomb. Liam is left on his own, flashes out, trying to find, pre-firing some of the angles. They're playing this so well, they're not facing, they're going to be playing the team game. And now, Lozza just peeks out as soon as he sees Cryptics, and that's the 13th round. But, Fraser, Kassa, and Rezu still have the money to buy, and this is it. Fraser has the AWP, while Luzza doesn't. So that could be a big factor. He's going to be taking that towards mid. He's going to see if he can play aggressive and get that first kill. No, no, Mike. He's going to be playing from the bathrooms area. Quite like to see a bit of aggression out of Fraser, because he is a very good AWPer. See, this is something I really want to see at the counter terrorist sides during this game, is on overpass is uh, super important when playing on the A side of the map to have transitional defenses. If you, because you spawn on the A side, if you just sit back, you're letting the terrorist push up to you. You give all that map control, all the potential to push through connector. You have no information. If you push up to that situation, uh, that position into toilets, not only do you have eyesight so you can get some uh, information for your team, but you can maybe get a kill, and then you can just back off fairly reliably, especially with very minimal utility usage. And it uh, basically gives your team a huge advantage in the CTs because of how large the map is to rotate from one site to the other. And it's a really nice doing that early on. They do push back. Uh, Nuke Dog taking a quite close angle with a CZ. Yeah, that's where Round it's going to be the most sandbags. effective. Yeah, definitely so, but it looks like they're pushing onto A, and there's only two members. We'll see if they can take this read to Roos on his own lurking towards the B site we'll get out around monster for free Should. and there's the rotation and Tarus might be <gasps> no that season Casa finds them and that's big now they need to rotate fast because terrorists are forced with a time left to push through but Liam finds two tries to go for the third cryptic straight back but Fraser is too fast on that orb shot taking down uh, the remaining terrorist side and that if they win this next round uh, because of the loss bonus available um, will put the terror side onto a yeah. real back foot for this game That's, they got reset Radix have just been reset economically so they're, they're just buying down to just about 2k I'm, by, I'm playing a little bit of a more b-sided default trying to see if they can catch anyone out Casa gets the first kill but to Roos 
instantly there for the trade, and now Liam gets taken down by Luzza. And despite the fact that they have a disadvantage in almost every single way possible, they've now got the man advantage in this game. And with the way that Fraser's playing, you know, he can get Luzza, can get Luzza if he walks up. But the big problem will be Surreal out towards the long position. If Surreal decided to try and take that peak, it would be massive. And the information has actually come in. So it's going to be big. And Luzza trying to sell a little bit of a fake. And opening and closing that door is essential. Because it, it makes them think, oh no, they've opened the door to go B. But in reality, they're going A. Well, it's working exactly as planned. Only one player left in A, but they get the read. CT's rushing over, but it's all up to Fraser to defend the site on his own, but it looks like he'll get picked off. Tarus finds him. The AWP going into the hands of the terrorist side. Picked up by Surreal. Still a deadly player, even with that AWP. CT's, CT's are saving. I think this is a smart decision. It's going to be so hard to retake, especially from the angle, and knowing that they have a rifle and AWP in hand. Yeah, it's... I mean, that's not... Much there, just Fraser unfortunately not hitting his shots up close, which of course is quite hard to do with an AWP. With the orb, you've got a scope, so can't really blame him for that. And this crossfire is going to be so good because if Rezu goes down, Nuke Dog's there in a, a different position to make sure that he gets the trade frag. And they're sending Bob Darren down, it's not going to be anywhere close enough and that's the 14th round for Radix the question is are they go are CX going to buy into this round the answer is just some pistols just these pistols to support the uh, two rifles picked up playing for overtime yeah it looks like that's the plan especially into the weaponry they're going into but it's so dangerous just because you know it it's means a they little bit of bank and I was about to say, but it's working out. Fraser with a wonderful one dig. Uh taking down Bruce. But if they do if they do manage to win this round, it puts them in a fairly good position. But if they lose this round, eight rounds in a row they need just to even tie the game. Not even to win it. They then need to play for overtime, which is a whole nother deal in its sent uh, in its own. Terrorists pushing around, rotating back around to eight, even though we're now seeing a CT stat. But one CT player is pushing around, being caught out in the open, gets the information at least to back up. All the CTs rushing around from B to A, so they will be ready for the rotation. That is exactly what he needs to do. It gets him so low. That's going to play into the hands HP. of someone like Kassa. He's only got a USP. And Fraser, if he manages to hit a Wandy gun, anyone coming out towards long. It's going to be pivotal, but Surreal spots the corner and gets that kill. And now it's just Rezu, Nuke Dog, and Kassa. Kassa can obviously go for this because of how low he is. As actually Rezu gets the kill onto Voldaren, taking some damage onto Luzza as well. So that now plays into the hands of Kassa even more. Let's look at where Nuke Dog is. Surreal doesn't check it, he doesn't. It's Luzza. One versus two. Orp in hand. He's gonna have to pull out a miraculous play to take this down. Gets the first on to Cass and Nuke Dog running up close and gets the kill. Nuke Dog out of nothing takes the round and makes sure that Radix can't get onto that map point just yet. Yeah, it, we said it was a risky play, but it was a risky play that paid off with the amount that they bought. Um, this time, actually having a lot of money in the bank. The match has been paused. Um, not sure why. We assume either a tactical pause or a technical pause. Maybe another broken monitor. Hopefully not. Yeah, let's, let's hope not. Um, it's uh, been expensive enough for some players. Definitely. Um, so, uh, what do you think is uh, CX's um, win condition here? How, what strategies do they need to apply to the CT half uh, to pull out the win? Uh, at least winning s seven more rounds, hopefully even eight to win the game. I, I want them to try and get 
a lot more aggressive, especially towards mid and long. That's where uh, Radix are getting all of their map control. But it's also, you've got to try and shut down those big plays from Luzza, Surreal, and on this T side, Cryptics. You know, Cryptics on 17 kills, Luzza 22 in 23 rounds. It's big, but the bite does come in a Galil for Tarus. No. Uh, an AWP for Luzza, so that's going to be a uh, huge can he out aim Fraser. That's a big question, but... Flash thrown round, Caster is going for an early peak. We'll see if it pays off. He does find Luzza, as you said, acting aggressively very early on in the round. It does pay off. Now that they, now they have to try and just ease off that angle they have done. That's good. It gives them the man advantage and means that... Actually, that's Luzza taken down as well, so that's the most prolific Orpa down. And now... Bodang oh, gets the first threat. kill. That was really good. Gets a second on Takasa. Tarus does get taken down 61 HP. And now Muketok gets dinked. There's very not what it must happen, but that's the Kobe. Does land Tarus taking down Nuke Dog. And it's uh, this round which started off looking so good for CEX has quickly just deteriorated into nothingness. Fraser left on his own it's with the save. AWP. Has to save, but unfortunately for him, Surreal's on the prowl, so... We'll be hunting for her or want to keep her out of the hands, damage the economy as much as possible with these CTs. He hears it, he hears it, he's going back, trying to make sure that he can't save this. Surreal... Oh, the timing. He takes the shot and misses it. It didn't bring out in the server. And look at the money. There's no money left. Fraser's got 5,000, which is enough for an AWP. Doesn't get any armor. Has a diffuse kit, though. And yeah, look at the, the back and forth of these teams. Uh, trading rounds second half and CS cannot afford to do this they need to build up their economy but Liam just got pinged dropping down very low uh, will be disappointed that he didn't kill him but will be happy and content that he's one one shot away from death aggression this time towards a I think they're respecting the potential that they could have fast pushed uh, through B site down by monster Get some information, but oh. Liam. Liam's in fast. Liam's in such a good position. If no one checks him, That's surreal down. Oh, the timing! I have flashbacks of when uh, Flusher did that to um, to Phase and managed to get the double knife in the back. But rotations from Terrace, and now they're rotating back through to B side. But there is a player, Casa, sitting in water. It's going to be big. Can he get a kill? There's a little bit of a hole. He hears the flashbang. Gets the first kill. Gets the second onto Luzra as well. That's the AWP down. down. And bomb down. Can he get the third onto Taurus? Yes, he can. Can he get a board? No. Nuke Dog takes him down. And we go back and forth once again. Yes, repeating. But CX can't go back. And the money is terrible for Radix as well now. Yeah, but they can still have a, at least a solid buy and kind not, of... Not for Luzzer and Cryptics, though. They're going to have to be on pistols and armor. Yeah, but we've seen how devastating the CZs oh, can be and, in the hands uh, of these players. Cryptics has just been... I think he was just knifed by teammates. It's fine. It's a, it's a, like a encouragement knife, you know? <laughs> An encouragement knife. Go encouragement on. knife. Anyway, CZs, last time um, they forced uh, force bought with CZs, Luzzer found an excellent entry uh, from Connector. Pushing the CTs unaware. I like how the CTs positioning, getting info, pushing quite far up on that A site. Water control given over this time. But three players will be towards B, trying to peek for information, jumping up. Luz are holding close with that deadly pocket AK. Smoke's going out to B, they're pushing forward for Rezu's in a fantastic position, but Tarus is having none of it. 
this is falling apart. The dreams are getting dashed for CEX and it is not looking good for Nuke Dog. He's trying to hold on to bit of life, biting like a dog on a chain. He wants to be let loose and he is letting loose into this terrorist side. Luzza left with a CZ. Orphan Fraser holding an angle that Luzza might be about to walk into. And there it is. And CEX take the round, but at what cost? Losing three members, their economy <laughs> is not good. We, we keep on bringing this up, but at least this is the first round since the start of the game that they've managed to actually string, uh, string two wins in a row. So hopefully, for, the, uh, for their sake, they should, be able to, uh, they should be able to win this round and hopefully uh, rebuild the economy which they lost at the beginning of this half. Yeah, they should, but you can never counter out in CSGO as that Nade does 39 damage. Liam does get some damage as Fraser picks up the kill. And now Liam gonna be not taken down. Gonna take down two. Spot down and cryptic sound. Trying to get the headshot on Surreal. Does so. No, it's Luzza. Fraser takes it down. It's 11 rounds for CEX. Not not really much they could do, but this is the pivot. This, this is huge. They've got AKs. Can they try and convert this map point? I'd argue this is where it gets hard, CX. They need to They need to win everything now. They can't make any mistakes. They really need to step up to the plate. And it looks like there's some early grenades going out. A uh, bit of lag. But it's fine. We'll get back into it. Smoke grenades falling, preventing any early peaks. Three CTs over to B. Uh, CTs on A, playing very aggressively, pushing up. Sees the player, sprays through the wall. Doesn't land any shots though. No, well, he, he, landed on one. he landed one. Uh, but he only just spotted him and just aimed in the general direction. Does the 17 damage, not enough. This is anything meaningful, but. Shiki, this is map one. This is CX's pick. Uh, it's best of three. Next map is train, train. which was Radix's pick. Yep. No surprise there. They did amazingly well uh, yesterday on it against Neds. As this flash could be, that flash could be the best thing that's happened for Rezu. As Rezu gets one and backs away, but surreal on this A site, and now Bold Darren out. Surreal gets taken down by Nuke Dog, and now. Rezu on this side gets that first kill. Can he get a second onto Bold Darren? It's the big question. He can't. Taris takes him down. And it's a 2v2. It looks like we're playing Fortnite at the moment. But Fraser is left with a dream. One versus two. Terrace players very low HP. Grenades flying out, but Fraser gets pinged, and that will be the game. 16-11. CX, CEX losing on their own map. Uh, that's not going to be a good feeling for them. They've got to shake it off and just hope that they can pull out something spectacular and train.